Welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the key nutrients for optimal brain health. Now, in our video on how micronutrients treat depression, we talked about how micronutrients are essential to mental health, brain health, and overall health, and how micronutrients can actually be used in clinical doses to treat depression. In today's video, we're gonna be focusing on just some of the key nutrients that are essential for brain health, as there are many nutrients that your brain needs to function properly. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering the top five nutrients that are required for optimal brain health. So let's get into it. Starting with number one, the omega-3 and omega-6 essential fatty acids. DHA and EPA are types of omega-3 fatty acids. Linolenic acid is a type of omega-6 fatty acids. These three fatty acids are essential to brain health. And if you're going to acquire omega-3s from supplements, then you need to make sure that there's a good balance between these three essential fatty acids. Particularly, you wanna make sure that the supplement contains more EPA than DHA. Now, these fatty acids are called essential fatty acids because they cannot be produced by the body's metabolism, and we need to get them from our diet. These fatty acids are vital for the making and maintenance of the cell membranes found in our brain. So basically, they affect cell membrane permeability so that neurotransmitters can be transmitted from from one cell to another. So they help with the transmission of neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine. And in fact, they can work alongside your antidepressants like SSRIs, like Prozac, to help increase the amount of serotonin that is available to the cells in the brain. Essential fatty acids are also important for decreasing brain inflammation, as well as heart inflammation. And there's a ton of research on essential fatty acids for both brain health and cardiovascular health. The essential fatty acids also help the brain to produce that brain-derived neurotropic factor, or BDNF, which is required for us to have neuroplasticity, which we discussed in this video here. So people who are deficient in omega-3 fatty acids have been associated with getting brain disorders such as ADHD, bipolar disorder, depression, schizophrenia, and dyslexia. In the short haul, decrease in essential fatty acids leads to tiredness and memory difficulties. So the second key nutrient for brain health that we're going to discuss today is vitamin D. And if you missed it, we made a video specifically on vitamin D here, so go ahead and check that out. So here we'll just recap. When we think of vitamin D, most of us think of bone health and less of the benefits on brain health. So vitamin D is very important in the health of our brains by protecting it against cognitive delays that's associated with the aging process. Vitamin D is believed to play a role in enhancing synaptic plasticity, memory, learning, and brain function. Vitamin D deficiency has also been linked to depression and seasonal affective disorders because vitamin D can be found, of course, in the sunshine and our skin synthesizes vitamin D from the sun. So the winter months in areas where it's cold typically involve a lack of sunshine and therefore a subsequent lack of vitamin D, which can lead to the seasonal affective disorder. Now, vitamin D also has been shown to decrease brain inflammation and protects it against stress and anxiety. And some researchers have linked vitamin D deficiency to the development of schizophrenia. Now the third key nutrient for optimal brain health is actually the phytonutrients or polyphenols. Now phytonutrients come from plants and the major group of phytonutrients studied for brain health are the flavonoids. Flavonoids are found in black and green tea, blueberries, apples, citrus fruits, even beer, wine, and cocoa. 
They seem to help brain health when you are young and as you age because they have antioxidant properties. And flavonoids have been shown to help in many different brain functions, including the repair of brain damage, they help the brain's neurons to communicate with one another more effectively, and they have not only antioxidant but also anti-inflammatory properties and this diminishes cell damage in the brain. Flavonoids also have been shown to help us form new memories and prevent brain cell death. They help in synaptic plasticity, which is the brain's ability to reconnect and form new connections. And we need these new connections to lay down new memories, to learn, and to have excellent cognition. So in short, Flavonoids are essential in neuroplasticity. Now the fourth key nutrient for brain health that we'll discuss today is curcumin. Now curcumin is the spice that makes the turmeric plant and it gives the spice its familiar yellow color. It's a common spice used in Indian foods and interestingly, the Indian population actually have a lesser degree of Alzheimer's dementia when compared to those who eat American diets. And turmeric or curcumin has been shown to actually block the plaques that are seen with Alzheimer's disease. Curcumin is also a powerful anti-inflammatory agent and it acts against those amyloid plaques found in Alzheimer's disease because of its powerful anti-inflammatory properties. It's also an excellent all-around antioxidant and this improves the brain function in those who suffer with Alzheimer's disease. And studies have shown that those with Alzheimer's who regularly ate curcumin did better on brain function tests than those who did not eat curcumin. And it's good to note that to best absorb turmeric or curcumin, you must eat it with good fats as it's actually fat soluble. So good fats like olive oil, avocado oil, or coconut oil would be optimal to eat with turmeric or curcumin. Also quercetin rich foods such as apples, berries, and red grapes can also help with the absorption as well as black pepper. Black pepper has a compound in it called piperine that also helps with the absorption of turmeric and is also anti-inflammatory. So if you're going to consume turmeric in a supplement form, make sure that it contains a type of piperine or a compound that helps with absorption as taking it alone will not be as effective. And last but not least, our fifth key nutrient for brain health that we'll discuss in this video are the B vitamins. Now, the B vitamins are associated with excellent brain health. And the most helpful B vitamins and the ones most studied for brain health are vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and vitamin B9, which is folate. Each of them has an important role in brain cellular metabolism. So B12 is necessary for cellular processes called methylation, which is a chemical process that's required for the survival of all cell types, including those in the brain. And methylation is important in the production of certain neurotransmitters, also with myelin sheath production, which is the protective layer of the brain cells and neurons, and with cell communication. So B12 enhances this communication process in the brain and without it, the brain will move very sluggishly and will not transmit those signals as fast as they should be transmitted. B12 also requires SAMe, which stands for S-adenosine methionine, which is a common supplement that is found in health food stores and pharmacies. It's been found to improve a person's mood and relieve depression. So both vitamin B12 and SAMe are necessary for this methylation process to occur. So B12 deficiency actually leads to a compromise in cell communication. And so B12 has been found to protect the brain from suffering from age-related brain atrophy. And it has also been found to protect the white matter of the brain, which is the part of the brain that wires 
different parts of the brain together for good functioning and connectivity. So prolonged vitamin B12 deficiency eventually worsens brain function and can lead to dementia. So this means that we really need to stay on top of our B12 intake and prevent B12 deficiency to prevent future cases of cognitive decline or even dementia. Now vitamin B6 and folate or vitamin B9 are vitamins that along with vitamin B12 are essential for the function of the brain. And folate has gained a lot of popularity and is found mostly fortified in a number of foods because of the deficiency that was found among pregnant women which caused neural tube defects and anencephaly, which are both devastating birth defects. So that's why you'll see a lot of foods that are fortified with folate, but mainly this is folic acid or the synthetic form of folate. And though while scientists are not exactly sure how folate improves or benefits brain health, it is believed that this nutrient does lower the levels of this amino acid called homocysteine in the blood. And homocysteine is actually one of the key players of um, nerve death and cellular death in the brain. So decreasing homocysteine will actually improve brain health and decrease brain inflammation. And some other research studies have found that deficiencies in folate actually increase a person's risk of depression and can worsen cognition. And so B vitamins are absolutely essential for brain health and um, they can actually be detected in a simple blood test. So it's always a good idea to ask your provider to run a simple B vitamin levels and at minimum check your B12 and folate levels. So that wraps up the top five key nutrients required for optimal brain health. Now these nutrients are essential for the health of the brain and will have an impact on your cognition and emotional processes that your brain engages in every day. So make sure that you're eating a balanced diet and consuming enough of these key nutrients. In our next video, we'll actually talk about some of the foods that are considered brain foods that actually have a lot of these key nutrients in them. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on that video. So are there other nutrients that you believe are required for essential brain health? Go ahead and drop it down in the comment section below because we learn from sharing each other's experiences. And if you would like to receive a free ebook or e-guide that I've created on the key nutrients for brain health called Food for Thought, then go ahead and check the link in the description where you can claim your free copy. It goes over this topic in a little bit more detail, plus contains some recipes at the end that you may find useful to implement perhaps in your holiday season. And as always, I thank you for watching. I wish you well on your mental health care journey, and I look forward to seeing you next week.